This is a clinical trial which we conducted specifically to look at how we can combine novel agents with immune checkpoint inhibitors. And in this trial, we looked at the U2 regimen, which is ublituximab and umbrilisib, in combination with the PD-1 inhibitor, pembrolizumab. And here we wanted to focus on patients with CLL who have high-risk features and relapse refractory disease, and also, more importantly, the cohort of patients with Richter's transformation, which is an aggressive transformation to diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, which has been historically and more recently categorized as having a very short overall survival. There's been some data presented by the Mayo Clinic with pembrolizumab as a monotherapy, suggesting that it could be quite active in patients with Richter's transformation. So at this meeting, we're presenting data looking at this triple combination. We have several patients with CLL. I think the overall response rate was approximately 91% who responded to this combination with durable remissions. We also have several patients with Richter's transformation who have had a clinical benefit with either durable stable disease or complete or partial remissions. Not only are there responders, but they tend to be durable, and we've now had patients nearly approaching two years who have had a durable remission with Richter's. It's very preliminary, phase one data. It's not practice changing at this time, but it does provide a window um, and insight into the fact that PI3K inhibitors such as umbrilisib, which have generally had a favorable adverse event profile, can be used in combination with checkpoints to enhance their activity and potentially induce durable remissions in high-risk situations.